Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Super excited to have you back here. Bass Brothers Fishing DMV. Me and Warren got a very exciting project going on today on his kayak, the Vibe Share Water 125. It's been a long time since we posted something about it and we're doing a big upgrade today. All right, so what we're doing today is finally putting a trolling motor on the battleship. You guys saw when I got this thing, I got the pedal drive initially as one of the accessories for it. I figured I'd get some exercise while I'm fishing. The biggest thing anybody that has a kayak understands on a windy day, you get in a whole lot of trouble trying to navigate a kayak while fishing. So you tend to do just as much navigation or trying to hold it in a spot versus actually throwing some bait in the water. So today we're putting on a Motor Guide XI3 trolling motor with pinpoint GPS, which allows me to have an anchor feature, which you may know as spot lock. So that's gonna be a big plus on those windy days, get out there on a the kayak and you'll be able to lock yourself in position wherever you wanna be and just go ahead and toss baits at your spot that you're trying to catch fish. For kayaks, they went ahead and got a shorter shaft because some guys were cutting the shaft and voiding any warranty that they would have had on their trolling motor. They went ahead and made one for kayaks that's 36 inches long as opposed to the longer ones for the bigger boats. So some of the parts that I got to do this installation is the mounting plate. We also have a quick release bracket with, from Motor Guide because you do not want to try to transport this kayak with the motor installed. Some other pieces are the trolling motor plugs. We have a 60 amp inline fuse. We have a through hull wiring kit for the battery, some eight gauge wire. You can find that on Amazon. We'll link all of that in the description. And then some wire sleeving so we can neaten up some of the work that we're about to do. What we're gonna have powering this trolling motor is a Amp Outdoor Lithium battery. As you know, if you watch our videos, Amp Outdoor batteries are used throughout our boats. In my John boat, I have three of them, two running a trolling motor, the other one running electronics, that's the 80 amp hour, and also on the Pelican Bass Raider, got an 80 amp hour battery. These are some awesome, awesome batteries. They produce a lot of power, very reliable, completely maintenance free, and they're priced better than most batteries out there on the market. So I stand behind the Amp Outdoors completely, and we're gonna add it to the kayak. And this is gonna power the motor and should provide Warren a lot of sustainable power and time out on the water, which is the most important thing. So we're gonna get right into it and we're gonna give a lot of details as we go. So if you're out there, you got a kayak just like this, have a different brand, whatever, and you're just trying to make an upgrade, which is probably why you clicked on this video. We have a lot of information for you. Let's get into it right now. All right, what's step one? What are we doing? Looks like we're doing a mountain plate. Yeah, we're gonna mount this mounting plate and then on top of the mounting plate, we're gonna put the quick bracket release so that we can take off and put on the motor with ease. Okay. Uh, during transportation. And where did you get this from? So I got my mounting plate from Snipe Air. There are other manufacturers that make it, but Snipe Air has the handles on all three sides, which makes it easy if you want to carry the, the kayak from the front or use two hands and carry it from the sides. So let's go ahead and take off the front handle and then put on the mounting plate. And then after that, we'll put on the quick release bracket. Wow, so those two screws hold in the whole trolling motor? Exactly. Damn, that's some scary <laughs> right there. See, why you gonna say that, man? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, if that's how it was, hey, this is what this is designed for. So we got the Snipe Air base installed. Goes in simple with two screws. It's already cut to fit the specs of the kayak, so you don't have to drill into the base. It's already there. All you gotta do is drop the screws right in. Right now we've got the base of it here. This is for the quick release bracket. This is just one piece. We gotta get the second piece of the quick release bracket mounted onto the actual trolling motor. Now to mount the quick release bracket, we do have to remove the side plate of the trolling motor and that will give us access to bolting it in. We'll show you that in a second. Got the sides off and you can see these are the mounting points. So now we have access to it. Got it? So we 
got all the bolts in there, six bolts, three on each side. And just a quick note, the center bolts actually screw in a lot further. It goes all the way in until it meets the base of the trolling motor. Just a, a note. We questioned it, spent some time making sure that there wasn't some kind of defect, but looks like it's intentional. So you'll notice this bolt is sticking up higher than these other two. And we're gonna roll with it just like that. Drops right on the mounting plate. Okay. This right here is the quick release clip. When you want to take the motor off, you just pull this out, lift this up, drop it in your car or whatever. So we got the motor on, everything's good there. Now we need to run power to it. We're gonna install, install the trolling motor port right here. Quick connect, that way we can just plug it in, plug it out. We've got these from Atwood. This one will be the female that goes here, and then we'll install the male onto this end. We're gonna drill out the hole for the trolling motor port right here using a step drill. Neat little way to go to mark so that you know when to stop is to color it. I just take a Sharpie and mark where I need to stop drilling, okay? It's gonna drill from the beginning, keep going all the way in, and I mark this at one and one eighth. That's the measurement you want to install this port. We've got the front almost ready. The male port is wired up coming off the trolling motor, and we are gonna just open up this compartment right here and fish the wire from front to back. This will be eight gauge wire going to the amped outdoors lithium battery. This is in place, looks wonderful, nice and secure. I'm gonna go to the rear of the boat. Got this long wire coming out here. And the idea right now is to run it along the channel down here to the side. Probably we'll drill through here and mount the 60 amp breaker. And I think we're gonna mount it somewhere in the center here. Come power off of that into the power terminal of the battery. We're gonna fish the wire through here in the center, cut a one inch hole out here and use this, these grommets that we got. This is Yak Attack through hole wiring kit. Fancy to say grommets. What we're gonna do is take one and install it right there, screw it in. It, in the kit comes these half moon shaped rubber grommets that go one on each side to complete a hole right there. And it gives you flexibility. You could actually have different size wires and stuff like that because each one of these ha are, is a different size hole and you've got some larger ones here. We're gonna go with the larger one and cut it out. We're gonna slit out a little groove right there to match the size of this. This is very thick eight gauge wire that's a duplex. So it has the, oh, he did it already. <laughs> I just walked right into that. I didn't even realize Warren did it already. So I'll just show you it done. Here are the two halves, just slide it right over. All we did was cut out the hole a little bit to make that work. So that's there. This will go around it on that plate. You'll see it all come together. All right, let's do it. Got it pushed through one inch hole here with these wonderful, very, Heavy duty grommets, both sides. That will not take on water and will not budge or wear out over time. So the screws that came with this grommet were, had flat ends on them, totally useless for this kind of application. So we just went with our own stainless steel, three quarter inch number eight screws right here. Weathermax from Lowe's. Worked out perfect. Not self-tapping, just regular screws. You don't want to self-tap plastic and potentially drill out the hole more than you need to. We're gonna install the 60 amp breaker right here. Probably put a little spacer because we have uh, some divot here where it's not flush. So we'll put a spacer behind here to fill that gap for the screw to secure this. And yeah, just more electrical work. 
run the wires to the battery and this thing will be ready to be fired up. These are pretty cool. Have not used one of these breakers before. Got a little Allen screw right here just to open up the space to run the wire in. And I believe this is made for eight gauge wire. So about to find out in a second. All the connections are made. We intentionally left extra cable here because ultimately we're gonna be putting this into a battery box and the connections for the battery box may be further away than where they stand right now. And we can always shorten the cables once we get our permanent connections done. So in case you're wondering, why do they have so much wire hanging out? That was intentional to leave room for us to figure out which battery box because we actually have two battery boxes here but they're a little too big they don't fit snug in the kayak properly so we're going to do some more research on that might have to diy a box for ourselves we're all connected and ready to test out the trolling motor we're going to drop the prop on it and make sure everything works <music> Time to test it out, Juan. You think we got it right? Yeah, definitely. We definitely got it right. All right, I think so too. We took our time and, you know, just did our thing. Go ahead and plug it in. He's got his remote here. This is exciting stuff, man. Exciting stuff. We got a beep. There we go. We've got power. Now, we're not gonna lie, we're brand new to this motor, so it's not like, you know, we're gonna just say, okay, this is what you do, this is what this means, that means. Looks like we've got battery power and we've got power, period. It looks like we have battery level meter here and we've got a prop and looks like our GPS signal is there. We do have another cable here and honestly don't know what that's for yet. I'm assuming this has to do the GPS. Oh, look, oh, he just got connection to satellite. So I think your GPS is up. We'll figure out what this is for. Don't clown us, we don't know. Do you need that first? Oh, the GPS? I don't know. Oh, what'd you do? I just did forward. All right, there we go. <laughs> so we're over here trying to figure it out and you guys just seen this real time. So we got everything lined up. We needed to link the remote and it gives you instructions in the book. So we just linked it. And it's, immediate, it's responsive immediately. As soon as he presses it, it comes right on. No delays, anything like that. So we've got power, it works. That's, int that's interesting. Oh man. Bruh. Bruh. I'm having fun with this, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I would too, man. This thing is awesome. Look at that. Now right, we're at full power. No fuse blowing or anything like that. He's ready to go. This thing is super quiet. Very quiet motor. Next step is to create a situation where it's easy to release the motor. The way it's set up right now, you'd have to go from the back of the kayak and walk up to the front and hit the lever to release it so that the motor will deploy. And similarly, to get the motor back up, you'd have to come from the back to the front and you don't wanna do that. So we're gonna create a little pulley system, just a DUI, a little quick thing to do to make it so that from sitting at the rear of the kayak, you can pull and release this, which will drop the motor. So right now we've got this power cord right here. This from Home Depot. Just created a handle situation with a washer and just tying a knot in here so that it won't come out. This cord will run to the front. It's gonna come through this eyelet right here. We're about to install this right behind the motor. And then we're going to attach it to this pedal right here. So long story short, pull it, we'll release this, motor will drop down. This is gravity deployed. And then similarly in reverse, we're gonna attach a bracket here. It might not be this one, cause this one's a little bit too big and connect another cord to this so that when you're ready to stow the motor, simply reach from back here, pull, and it'll pull the motor up back into a stowed position. So that's the high level of what we're doing next. Final steps to get this thing done and on the water and it'll be a nice mod and very convenient 
because of course for all you kayak lovers out there you want you need things to be at your fingertips you don't want to be running back and forth to the front or back of the kayak to do stuff so we're going to keep that theme going and create a situation where from sitting here you can deploy and stow this motor very easily <music> just demoed the deployment and it is smooth as butter and I'm not exaggerating it takes very little effort you're just pulling it lightly and it deploys so right here this is what we're using for the stow bracket so that when you're ready to stow the motor you can so we're gonna attach it to the shaft of the trolling motor just like this and we realize this might have a tendency to move around so we're gonna just cut two pieces of rubber and stick it inside here it has four bolts bolt it all together should hold it in place without slipping at least that's the plan right and we're going to attach a bolt here attach the cord to that and then voila it should work and and i want to see this part warren's telling me how having the bolt a certain way will make the motor turn a certain way when you pull on the cord to stow the motor and what i mean by that is you want the prop to be on this side when you stow it. And I believe the logic behind having the prop on this side is because the power cord, all the cords for the motor are on this side. So if the prop comes over here, then these cords are now wrapping around the shaft of the motor. And that's not ideal, right? I'm sure it wouldn't damage it, but you know, let's go with best case scenario and what makes the most sense. So we want the prop to always be on the left side and we're gonna mount it a certain way here to make that happen. <laughs> you gotta let go of the deploy all right. All, right. all right he just held on to both of them can't do that <laughs> no, it'll never work all right one more time all right we're deployed and then we're gonna pull it in okay. easy breezy I like that. As we continue our fishing journey, we're constantly trying to improve our experience and increase our chances of catching fish. This upgrade definitely gives you more freedom to do just that. The features of the motor were pretty straightforward and easy to learn. Deploying the motor into the water was super quiet with the water absorbing the weight of the motor, making it very lightweight. I must say, kayak fishing has come a long way. Installing a motor setup like this definitely takes things to another level. Honestly, I don't think you'll ever go back to using a paddle. After after all, why go back when you have a co-pilot to take you where you want to go? That time can now be spent to rig up baits or simply enjoy the scenery. And don't worry guys, we'll post a follow-up video as well as a full review of this motor at the end of the season and use that video to also answer questions in the comments. Got some other cool instructional videos coming to the channel. Shout out to Amped Outdoors for supplying the battery powering this kayak. We'll leave our affiliate link down below so you can check these out. Any purchases using that link will help out the channel. I'll be upgrading the Rona with a brand new Minn Kota Ultrex and also adding some other goodies to the boat. So subscribe to the channel for more great content. We're on our way to 20k subscribers and would really appreciate it if you kindly subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video.